steel type shit and the thing you put between your legs and mm-hmm. your you know you're clapping your thighs together but you're putting something between your legs and clapping you've never seen that i'm thinking long legs teal and then the pink uh, just like knuck. The, just, yeah. Just oh, always yeah. knuck. Yeah. Yeah, the two piece. That's yeah. the problem. You know, the old guy who's drying his balls in, yeah. the, in the. Yeah, all, it's all of those guys. You got it. So we've all been in this uh, serious fitness game. Ladies and gentlemen, I almost hopped straight in the top. I was there. thinking, yeah. Almost yeah. Did. No, yeah, I caught it, dude. I'm on top of this shit. I've done this before. I'm a fresh professional. <laughs> Topic Thunder, the Gossip Boys, Dean Sidoris, Captain Kilos, the legendary Jim McD, 3SB.co, 3streetbarbell.com, and the one and only Kai Kai. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. Share this two episodes a week. Uh, also check out Fifty Percent Facts and um, let's rock and roll. So we've all been in this niche of like kind of the barbell for a while. Kyle played uh, professional sports, which oh we can go into a whole different topic about strength conditioning, professional sports, and where it is. But it is advanced. Kyle's probably had great strength coaches, and he knows what lifting is. We obviously are meatheads to the core. But let's go back down memory lane together. Mm-hmm. Just a little trickle. A little, a little stroll. Stroll down. And I want to know about, like, the first, like, what you used to think of when you thought fitness. Ooh. Because a lot of people, Jim and I have interviewed thousands of, of meatheads, and they're all like, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I love the, what's the fucking movie? Barbarian or whatever the fucking. Conan. Yeah, the Conan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that and this. Like, mine is not that. My idea of fitness when I was a kid, I was I got a good strength and conditioning coach in eighth grade, but I'm talking, like, your early memories of what the fuck fitness is. I don't even know. I didn't even think about fitness cells in like in high school, like like what it is. Because I guess no. I mean like growing yeah, up, with like my dad was like a bodybuilder and stuff like that too. So he did all that. So was my mom at, at a time. Man, my aunt. Yeah, I mean, see, yeah, so I had a you lot. had a meathead. It was like. more of like yeah, it was more of just like bench and curls, baby. Like, yeah. that's it. It's like do some leg press. Family. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I would say yeah. aesthetics. If I could like yeah categorize it yeah, it was yeah. just i thought for me like my introduction to fitness was like the aesthetics of fitness like the look um or like you know like picking up like a men's health magazine okay like seeing what the workouts were shave chest you know yeah. like you know shave chest yeah. okay supplements yeah. you know supplements that go into that yeah like, okay mm-hmm. like i gotta go get all these like bca bsa if i can supplements right <laughs> yeah. because that's what this magazine said brad pitt took and for fight club role you gained know 30 I mean? pounds like, when did fight club scoop? come out uh, we were probably young. 99. 99. Yeah, yeah, so we're probably in like 6th or 7th yeah. grade or something. I mean, like, if I had a like, dollar for, like, when I was a kid, like, I was Googling, okay, Brad Pitt Fight Club workout. No, routine. that was the body. Like, that yeah. was like, yeah, that was the, body. the ideal men's body type. Mine's like, even before that, like, uh, going to a club right by my house and my mom would be doing the aerobics type thing. Mine was always aerobics in my head. I didn't oh. know about lifting. I played basketball, but I was young, young. Maybe I read an article about Jordan or saw a magazine about Jordan lifting weights and thinking that was kind of cool. But everything was aerobic. They like fucking DVD or not yeah, uh, yeah, VHS. Yeah, buns, buns of steel. Yeah, buns of steel type shit. And the thing you put in between your legs and mm-hmm. you're, you know, you're clapping your thighs together. But you're putting something between your legs and clapping? You've never seen that thing? It's like um the a V. Thigh master. The thigh master. Yeah. Oh, I know about it. There's also yeah. a butt master. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know the butt master. And a stair master. <laughs> no, stair but this one's the thigh. Like, shit like yeah, that yeah. is what popped up for a very long time. Yeah. It was the VHS tapes, right? For like sure. The at-home workout VHS aerobics tapes. Or who's Ty the guy? Bo, Ty Bo. Ty Bo is getting there. Yeah. Who's the guy? Uh... Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. Kind of, kind of looks like it is today. Like the leggings and everything. No, it kind of all looks the same now. No, I know Jim like Shark. Right now, Jim yeah. Shark's two twenty twenty one. Now they just need was. the socks, the curled up socks at the bottom. That'll come back. That's yeah, what are those? Uh, the, leg warmers. Back. Yeah, leg warmers. Yeah, those, How are those, those are not are, back. Though, they they right kind now. of are. Yeah, I think it's really? kind of like yeah. If a chick rock goes up like damn, that's sick. That would actually be a sick Halloween costume. Like us, an 80s aerobics. Us as like 80s, 80s aerobics yeah. with straight out of flash dance. You'd be a team. That'd be sick. Yeah. I'm sure you haven't seen flash the, dance. Uh, <sighs> the skin, what are those shorts called? The, uh, the high short men's ones? The, oh, I was the thinking. Dolphin shorts? Yeah. Or like yeah. They call the military term. Oh, for oh silkies. Silkies. I was yeah. thinking more of the ladies' outfit for us. So like like teal green spandex and then a leotard. Pink, leotard. A, well, I'm thinking span. I don't know. Maybe it is a leotard, but I, I'm thinking long legs, teal, and then the pink. Uh, just like knuck. The, just yeah. Just oh, always yeah. knuck. Yeah. Yeah. The two piece. Yeah. 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 And then that's, a fanny pack. Yeah. And they're fanny pack. Around. And then gray, yeah. gray leg warmers. Yeah. With that's like what the, I think when I think fitness. With yeah. the big tennis shoes, like thick looking, like yeah, uh, like some bullshit like feel. Yeah. 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 What's that movie with uh, John Travolta when he's like doing the fitness with oh, that yeah. one girl from uh, oh, that's so good. True Lies. 
That's not a uh, uh, which one. The that's Stan, not the, Stan Alive, the sequel to Saturday Night Fever. I don't know, but he or, is in that outfit and he's got a fucking mullet. He's got, a gray, he's got the gray shorts and he's on. Oh, he's sitting there, he's swinging. swinging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's so good. That's no, good. That's, that's really good. good. We should redo His that. His shorts are this big. We yeah. should redo that. That's good. I don't have an answer for this other than maybe like bodybuilding magazines in the grocery store. Yeah, I don't really that, know. That was it. I, I can tell you what it's not because when I was probably, I think it was a nut on the roof. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, uh, uh, We've had some weather here. Somebody yeah. nutted on the roof. So uh, anyway, the uh, first time. when I was probably like seven or eight years old, my dad thought it was a good idea to take me and a friend to the YMCA in Stockton on a Saturday, which is like All Men's Day. Yeah. If you can was imagine it n- actual fan. All Men's Day? It was. Oh, Young that's, man. That's legit. I like that. <laughs> so- yeah. What so are they wearing, Jim? Very nothing. <laughs> they weren't a fucking thing. That's the problem. You know the old guy who's drying his balls in yeah. the in the yeah. All, it's all of those. guys. You gotta have that to balance things out. He's that like, is still a thing. The, Why is that still a thing? It's still a thing. You go the to fucking any shimmy com- with the naked. You dude. go to any commercial gym and you head in that locker Bro. room. Some old dude's nuts up and his legs up on the oh, bench. Yeah. He can't just dry his shit with a normal no. stance. One leg's got to be up. He can't. You gotta, throw you gotta let him know. <laughs> You gotta let him know. He can't throw a little gold bond on there and no, just dude. be on his way. Or shower at home. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you just your grundle in my face <laughs> while I'm trying to wash my hands after I peed? Or it's like, yeah, well, why can't you just take your shower, get out? Okay, if you're even going to get naked, and like, that's fine. Just put your underwear on pretty uh, at a normal right. pace here. It's like, or dry off. Ling- why are we lingering with sack out? You can dry <laughs> off in the booth. Yeah. It's, it's, there's, in the, they're, they're making a statement. No, they're doing like. the, I they're guess, right. and I'm, I'm something's not, going, Something's happening. A slight change from me being 23 to now 33, I've given less fucks, but I don't know if I've ever given not that much of a fuck. Uh, you got to be yeah, really but, old. Yeah. Yeah, keep staying. <laughs> Think about how much. And just stack I'm 88. It times like four more. Yeah, five more. You know, gray ass yeah. hair just swinging out. Yeah, they'll probably bend over and wipe that thing. Continue, Jim. I am the oldest person at this table, and I can tell you, I am not comfortable with any of that. Yeah, uh, either coming or growing. You know, what I'm saying, I, I, it's just not going to happen. I will be. I'm going to be that guy at 100. percent Kyle already I'm, is. I'm kind of am. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm talking it's to Kyle a, in our vibe. hallway, <laughs> and <laughs> for one second, I'm like, we're talking video games. I do. You know, I got AD, ADHD, and so sometimes I'll just walk around while I'm talking. Eye contact with Kyle, normal conversation. <laughs> I do a loop. I turn back and his cock's out. <laughs> He's like, well, I thought uh, you were. <laughs> I was changing. He said, well, I thought you were gone. I said, well, I thought we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> so you were changing in the hallway? No, no it's his I room. Was I was room. in the hallway. Oh, okay. but He was in the hallway. Yeah. But, you know. Well, Kyle's going to be that wow. guy in three years. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be, that, that, that comes with the, uh, I think, the professional sports locker room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe. That's it's that like primal it. feeling. Yeah. Sometimes it feels good. <laughs> just yeah. to let you it know? shake? That's, just let yeah. it out. That's the pro athlete of him coming out. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, the guys Something that are, coming out. The guys, the guys that, that are like, like, ooh, uh, 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 like, I can't do those. Like, you're like, yeah. bro. We're all men here. I, I agree. Up, you know? if, the, if you're, like Dean said, if you're just regularly drying yourself and you're in your corner and you're putting your underwear on, hey, that's fine. I understand locker room stuff, but it's different when, one, we're having eye contact. <laughs> yeah, two. I, mean, I kind of <laughs> shut my door a little bit. No, I don't but... think the door moved. <laughs> and then two. I, I thought you went that way, and I had him in my hand. I, was I did, like, I did, I did, I did do on. a U-turn. I did a, a yeah, walk away. Hard U-turn. But then like, when, oh, hey, when your leg's up. Or, or, I didn't do any of that. No, just the locker room guy does. All of a sudden, I'm posing. Does Kyle walk around with just a T-shirt on and socks? And yeah, no, no undies. Yeah, no undies. The bottomless That's party. cold. That's a cold damn time. I have Hell to say no. that eye contact is better than not eye contact. You want know to say well, like yeah. my eyes are up here? You know, True. It's better yeah. than yeah, than downstairs, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I it's all about peripherals at that point. You're seeing everything. You I know? kind of already forgot. What yeah, this topic yeah, yeah. There's yeah, no yeah. way. There's no. Unless yeah, you're yeah. eight feet tall, you're not, you don't look like this. <laughs> you're not. You're not like that. The topic was early days fitness. Oh. And what's sad is all we think about is naked men. When I we think, think that's kind of early day fitness is like kind of the is. old man in the. Yeah. Cause like, I, I mean, I don't know if your parents ever took you to the gym and they're like, all right, go to the daycare or whatever. Yep. Like you go to the bathroom sometimes. There's some weird shit going on in there. <laughs> I, I would have to. I guess it's just a general of like a just general globo gym fitness world. Yeah. Where for me was my introduction. Because even when I was playing baseball, like in high school or even like like I wasn't I wasn't training as like a, uh, you know, a Babe Ruth baseball kid i was just literally just showing up to practice and showing yeah. up to games and then in high school you start doing some weight room stuff like yeah. a little bit but it's still kind of like not really kind of doing but like there's some kids that were but like yeah like one kid yeah you know what i mean because yeah, his yeah. dad was into it or yeah. his dad is like trying to get this kid to the league you know what i mean or something i know that kid <laughs> you know like <laughs> kyle was, was that, that kid, one kid. No, <laughs> weightlifting no i knew one kid who was already into like gear and shit like, <laughs> yeah there was that too and, and yeah. with, you yeah, know yeah. With, at my high school too so it's like but then like it was like kind of like that senior year 
like you know maybe a little bit of junior year you start going to the globo gym in your area and that's kind of your introduction and you're, you're buying the magazines you're buying the supplements you're yeah. going to fucking gnc you're going you know you're kind of getting bought into that little world and you're looking up celebrity workouts like brad pitt there's a good uh it's not that good but maybe we should even do a podcast on it. it's like uh pumping iron like three there's like four of them i think and like two or three i think three takes place in the 90s and they okay. kind of talk about like the the, the i want to see the fits it talks about the globo gym and it talks about the machines being the king no one's using a barbell anymore because there's all these high-tech machines and shit and that's uh, obviously just because of my age that's the era i think of i just saw mm. wonder woman 84 this is an aside but not back to the clothes oh good god like they, I did what I didn't understand going into that movie that they made that movie as if it were made in the eighties. Oh yeah. So yeah. like, not just set in the eighties, but made in the eighties because the special effects were yeah, garbage. Yeah. They were uh, really was that bad. intentional. Oh, or? I, I hope so. I don't know. DC is not really doing. Were the eighties a good time, Jim? <laughs> um, <laughs> they weren't a good time for fashion. They were pretty oh, good time really? for music. You don't think so? Not, you weren't even yeah. born in the eighties, huh? No. no. 80s was like hair metal bands, right? Like that was like yeah. the, the uh, and like new shitty wave. pop. Yeah, new wave. I hate 80s pop. Besides Michael Jackson, you got to think of like some of the best like rock bands came out of the 80s, yeah. right? Yeah, like, yeah. I realized yeah, 70s, 80s. I think yeah. I asked my parents. I give. I asked my parents like, when was the best time? They say like 70s, 80s. I realized Always. I narrowly missed meeting Henry Rollins in like 1983. No, two. He's a powerlifter, right? Eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he's also he was the the lead singer of Black yeah. Flag, and Black Flag lived down the street from this uh, record store that we used to go to in, yeah. in in Westwood in L.A. And we came in like in the afternoon, and they'd been there like two hours beforehand. Never heard of them before, but I remember seeing the sign that says, "You know, Black Flag release party." And then I was listening to a, a podcast with him the other day, and he talked about that day. Oh, that's, <laughs> like, that's cool. Yeah. That's, that's I just weird. missed you. Damn, Damn dude. It. What a roller coaster. Naked men to go buy your leotards, flag. kids. Yeah. <laughs>